Well, I had the latest edition of PES Win Magazine in my hands earlier today, and now that I don't, but I was going to talk about this uh, Sensing 360 article uh, that appeared in the latest edition because it was really cool, and I, I, I don't know all the technologies behind this, but uh, at Sensing 360, they have this system called Gear Up, which uses optical sensors to monitor gearbox performance. So uh, the way that it works is they wrap this piece of fiber optic around the, the gearbox, the, the ring gear, and they can measure loads, torque, um, and what's happening with the planetary gears inside in real time. Uh, at which, if you look at the, the charts in the magazine, you're like, oh, that's kind of cool. So they're they're leveraging the ability of this fiber optic system to pick up really subtle details that are happening in this gearbox. And they're, they made a statement in there that you, obviously you could do predictive modeling. You can detect when things are off. You can see if there's a misalignment or and if there was something seriously wrong in the gearbox, you would pretty much instantly pick it up. But they may be able to uh, increase energy output around 7% by knowing what's happening in the gearbox, and I assume building better gearboxes or optimizing what's happening in the drivetrain. That is pretty fascinating because, and and we had talked to John Bosch from Arcvera about uh, sort of the powertrain and the power curve and where the opportunities lie. And the gearbox historically has not been one of those places, right? But and maybe with some of this new technology from Sensing 360, it could be a possibility to improve uh, performance there. You know, it's interesting here because this morning, Alan, you and I were on a conversation with Dave Beatty from Dash Engineering over in Australia. Last last week, we were on a conversation with uh, Corey Mitleider from Malloy over in South Dakota. So normally, we're always talking about blades, 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 because Rosemary's a blade expert. Well, I've dealt with blades, lighting protection system and blades. So that's something that lives we live our lives in. But we're diving a little bit more into that other side of things just in our personal lives and professional lives just to try to understand it a little bit better, see where the the nuances are in rotating equipment, be it bearings, gearboxes, all this stuff. So one of the things that, of course, when you're in the wind industry, you talk CMS. CMS came from that gearbox world, right? The gearbox, the rotating equipment, because you looked at it as, oh, if we can sense vibration, we can sense when something's wrong. So you have these vibration sensors that you can put on different different parts of the gearboxes or different parts of that rotating drivetrain, and you can see when things happen. So then blades started going, well, we'll do CMS too, and you're getting some different sensors and stuff in there. And that's great. And that, that industry is starting to build and gain some trust in how they can sense things. So there's different things in that blade world where you see like the kind of the rough, like, hey, you got an issue here. Or there's things like um, like Bill Slatter's 11i system where you can install in blades and it's like super sensitive, physics-based engines. It's like CMS, the next level, right? You're getting 24-7 data and you can really pinpoint where there's an issue. Why I say this is because that's what this Sensing360 system is for gearboxes and rotating equipment. I know it's super sensitive and it can see things because I've done it myself, right? I was at Wind Gear Up, I think last year, the year before in Copenhagen, and they had this stainless steel ring on the table that is about about as big around as my, the grip of my hand, and they had the fiber optic sensor wrapped around it, the same one that they put in the gearboxes and in the turbines. And I was able to squeeze this fiber or the stainless steel ring. Now I say squeeze, I exerted force on it with my hand. It didn't squeeze to my eye, right? To my eye, this thing is a three eighths inch wall, stainless steel chunk of tube. Like I'm not moving it. There's no way you could drive a truck on top of this thing. It's not going to move to your eye or deform. But that fiber optic sensor was picking up the most minuscule amounts of movement in it by the pressure of my fingers squeezing on this thing. And it showed in real time, live on a TV screen behind it. So what I say, why I say that is, is I think sen Sensing360 is the next level of the next frontier of what we can do for sensing. Now you're going to develop a ton of data from this system, uh, an astronomic amount, where you're going to need some help by some algorithms or some AI system, some machine learning system to, to do this. And that's what Sensing360 does. But if you've got any kind of crazy issues going on in your gearboxes, or you're trying to figure something out, this is the system to use. We, we've talked before on the show about putting you know fiber optics into blades, but 
the what was holding it back were a lightning strikes and b cost um so the fact that they figured out a way to be able to incorporate this into a gearbox you know as turbines get bigger the cost of a cms as a percentage of the overall turbine cost goes way down um, and if you can do things that are further reducing cost while giving you substantially more data and higher quality data that's going to tell you a lot more about how the your assets are operating that's extremely important and um you know this this may have cracked a nut on no pun intended i guess uh on how to um you know how to actually get meaningful uh you know, gearbox efficiency improvements and reliability enhancements. You know, the problems that we've had with gearboxes historically has been more of a reliability issue, not necessarily a performance one. Um, now we're reasonably efficient with, with gearboxes. We still have some, you know, bearing related issues, but uh, this could help take things to, you know, another level, like Joel was saying. Right. It's not intrusive. And, even though Rosemary hates fiber optics inside of blades, I, I do think there is a place for it in the nacelle and on the drivetrain. And if it can do what they say it does, that's really intriguing. And I'm surprised they haven't, I think they've been working with Siemens Gamesa a little bit. I'm surprised, you know, a Vestas or a GE or some of the other, or even the operators are not actively looking at this to, to, to see if it can help reduce uh, O&M costs and increase production. It's, it looks really cool. Hey, Uptime listeners, we know how difficult it is to keep track of the wind industry. That's why we read PES Wind Magazine. PES Wind doesn't summarize the news. It digs into the tough issues. And PES Wind is written by the experts, so you can get the in-depth info you need. Check out the wind industry's leading trade publication, PES Wind at PESWind.com. 